Hello, I'm Sandra Fryer, Vice Chair of Governors at Cottom School, the lead governor on Stoke Lodge. I've worked tirelessly with the school on Stoke Lodge since the first Town and Village Green application was submitted in 2011. I have spent eight years trying to sort this out properly and following due process. The challenge has been unremitting and often unbelievable. I'm sorry Stoke Lodge has become so controversial. I want to take this opportunity to update you on where we have got to and our steps planned to get the playing fields back into use. A lot of people have tried to claim that this is a park, but it isn't. The land for playing fields was given to the City Council for school use in the 1940s and has been in education playing field use ever since. Many generations of Bristol children have played sport here and I hope many more will too. Over the years, local people have got used to using the site when sport was not being played, but this was never as of right. The playing fields are now leased to Cotton School on a 125-year lease. To be clear, the reference to community use in our lease does not confer the right to use our playing fields, but rather that the school can manage and enable community use when not required by the school. In terms of putting up a fence, We've decided that the site must be secured so that when our students are at Stoke Lodge, we know they are safe. This is the same as on our main school campus, where we have a completely fenced site with key fob access points. We're planning to set up a user group to which we will invite local clubs, the university, local schools and representatives of the local community who have expressed an interest in sharing our playing fields when they're not in use by Cotton School. We're delighted to have funds from the Education Skills Funding Agency to repair, replace and provide some new fencing. This work has now started. We also have funding for a new pavilion. We have submitted an appeal to the Planning Inspectorate via the City Council's refusal of planning approval for our pavilion. We hope that appeal will be successful. In the meantime, we have made temporary arrangements for toilets and a small staff base on site. I hope everyone will join me in supporting our vision of young people back playing sport at Stoke Lodge. We owe this to young people now and for future generations.